In this video, we're gonna have a shaverage and do an unboxing, stay tuned. Hey there folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your OCDB, and thanks so much for joining me for another shaverage and unboxing. And it was a long day at work today, so I don't know about you, but I'm ready for a shaverage and an unboxing. And the shaverage for today is, what is that? Breckenridge Brewery. This is Vanilla Porter. So we'll give this a, a taste, and that's pretty good. Sort of a darker scent to my palate, but you definitely get the vanilla off it. Um, it's definitely got some bold flavor to it. Without bitterness, I like it. Again, this is uh, Breckenridge Brewery, and it is vanilla porter. So that is nice. I do like that one. So another hit, it would seem, on the beer. Okay, let's get to the first, first box of the day. And the first box comes to us from our friend Silky Creamy on YouTube. I will link his channel below. And he had some things and he reached out to me and said, hey, would you be interested in trying any of these? I have some extra stuff. And he gave me a whole list of stuff and I only picked out a couple of things because contrary to popular belief, I don't accept everything that <laughs> folks offer. Sometimes vendors offer things that I'm just not interested. I always try to try out things that I think I might like. And so uh, Silky was good enough to send me a few things here. And uh, let's see what we have in the box from Silky. And the soap is Red Planet from uh, PAA or Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. And let's let's give it a smell. Nice. I don't know how to describe this at all. It's kind of a herbal um, type scent to my nose. What is this called? Yeah, Red Planet. To me, it's sort of a spicy herbal type scent that is pleasant. I think I will like this one. There's the pour if you're interested. Looks very, very good. Nice scent on that one. I do believe I will. I believe this one will be a winner for me. But, you know, sometimes we use it and we find it's not a winner. But I expect that one will be. And I believe he sent the, uh, the splash too. So we won't actually unbox that because it's going to be the Red Planet splash. Thank you so much, Silky. I really appreciate it. And uh, check out Silky. Uh, I will link his channel below. And our next package comes to us from the Shaving Shop Club or Ariana and Evans. And the post office has really beat the mess out of this particular box. So hopefully nothing is broken. We shall see. Oh, by the way, I forgot to announce the unboxing night. That's bad form. Spiderco Dragonfly 2. Same, same uh, unboxing instrument as I had the other day. Very sharp, very nice, small, lightweight uh, knife. I really enjoy Spiderco knives generally and we have got the box open so let's see what we have here this is an order i made with uh the shaving shop club or ariane and evans we've got some uh some packing material there we're going to set down there for just a moment and here we go we have some soaps here the first one boy i've been looking forward to this one i'm gonna set that box up there for just a second i have really been looking forward to this one this is the vita soap which is the soap that was made for the Lather and Blade Facebook group. Uh, I have been waiting on this one. And by the way, Raza from Shaving with Raza made this label. Look at that. Isn't that an awesome, awesome label? Raza, when it comes to artwork and these labels, he's just killing it. Beautiful side label. That label's on there nicely. It doesn't appear to be coming up around the side. So I really, really like that. Vita, again, Shaving Shop Club or Ariana and Evans, if you please. Now the moment of truth. Let's give it a whiff. Let's see what we think. Now, keep in mind, it's been setting out of the mailbox a little bit, so the scent may be off, but that's nice. It's got a, uh, I, I can't explain this, but to me, it's got a citrus sort of front to it, and the back is maybe slightly woody, and that is actually nice. I like it. I think the scent will pick up a little bit. Sometimes when the soaps have been in the, the warm mailbox you'd think they'd be smelling really strong but i have found that sometimes once you bring them in let them cool and cool down to room temperature you get more of the scent so i suggest you always bring your soaps to room temperature before you smell them and this smells nice i am pleased with this to be honest i was afraid based on some of the initial feedback that i wouldn't like the scent but this is going to be a winner for me again you get maybe a lime or lemon up front and then a little bit of a wood uh, or a woody sort of vibe to round it out. And it's, this is nice. And there's a look at the soap. Man, I like that. So, uh, by the way, David, So Sharp David, worked with Peter uh, Charkalis uh, on this scent. And I believe they've delivered what will be a very popular soap 
Uh, this smells great. I'm looking forward to using it. All right, the next one is the, uh, let's see here, sorry. I'm, I'm glad, by the way, he's uh, protecting these uh, soaps. I do have a bit of an air bubble there and I'll try to get that out again. Uh, being ticky tacky there, air bubble here, air bubble there. Eh, it's not my favorite thing, but you know, uh, I will probably pop a hole in those and then try to get them out. If you look at it like that, you'd have some air bubbles. And this one is the American Pie Soap and let's give it a whiff, let's give it a whiff. Oh, that's nice. This one is gonna be a winner too. Oh man, that's very nice. Pete might have thrown this in. I don't remember ordering this one. So again, when I use this on video, I will let you guys know. I believe he probably threw this one in. Um, but still, even though he threw it in, there's some air bubbles on it. We, we will not ignore it. If there's stuff needed in need of correcting, we'll always call it like we see it, regardless of whether something's a valuation product or not. I think this one might be. It does smell great. This is nice. It smells like, you definitely get the apple, but there's some other stuff going on there too. It's not too sweet. It's slightly sweet, but not too sweet. It smells nice. Maybe, I'm not sure what's in the back of this. This is a nice scent. There's a darkness to it, so it's not just sweet apple. It smells good, actually. The only thing I would say about this one, um, those air bubbles again. Eh, you know, a little sloppy there, but what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? All right, next. We have the, I don't know why I ended up with another Vita soap. Maybe I, I probably ordered another one by mistake. I don't recall. So let's see what we have here. Let's cut this open. I know I ordered the Vita Splash. And, uh, oh, I ended up with, oh, shucks. I know what happened here. So I ordered two sets. One of these was supposed to go to Mary and the Barbarian and they both somehow ended up coming to me, so now I'm gonna have to ship them to, um, I'm gonna have to ship one set to Marion. That's why I put Marion's address in the shipping. But anyway, they were probably trying to do me a favor at Ariane and Evans, and they are, there's the two splashes, and also ordered the uh, Dirty Ginger Splash, because I didn't have that. And the second soap was for Marion, so now he's gonna have to wait a few days until I get a chance to ship this out. I made two separate orders and I put Marion's, or I thought I did. I'll have to go back and look at my order, but I meant to ship this to Marion because I bought a set for Marion as a gift. But anyway, I'll ship it to him. It's it's not a big deal. I have to go back and look whether I, I put that shipping address in there or not, or they made a mistake. Could be my mistake, so I won't make too much of an issue it, uh, of it. Anyway, I want to thank you all for joining me today. Let's have a little bit more of the uh, Breckenridge Brewery Vanilla Porter. There's some good flavor on that beer. Again, thank you so much for, for joining me. I really appreciate it. Till next time, I've been your host, CDB, and I'm reminding you, sure shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.